Coach Nichols, uh, from a fan standpoint, a wildly entertaining game. A lot of chances at both ends. Uh, how, from a coach's standpoint, was this game? Uh, maybe less entertaining, maybe <laughs> a little bit more intense. Um, yeah, it was a good game, though. Uh, Hart Oak is, is a great team. Um, play good soccer, move the ball really well, good movement off the ball. They do a lot of things right. Um, and I think, uh, I think our guys worked hard. We had a pretty good game plan. They stuck to the game plan, um, created some chances. Uh, it, was, it was a good match. Now, you're, you're never one to make excuses, but uh, you've played kind of the same lineup for a while here, and now you come into this game, uh, first time in about four years, BG had a guy get a red card, so you have a guy out for that. And then one of your starting center backs, who's really not missed any time all year, is out. So, I mean, you had some guys in unfamiliar positions step up. I mean, did you, everybody uh, kind of fit in well or did, did well from your perspective? Oh, for sure. And, um, you know, you, you want to have your full, full uh, roster to play these really important games like this. But um, we have a lot of confidence in, in, our, in our players. And, and uh, Sean stepped in the back. I thought he was solid. And, and Colin got us goal up front. Ryan Comiskey was good up front. So, um, and we got a lot of guys that don't play now that if we called their number, they'd step in and do uh, do great for us. So, um, yeah, we, we're we pretty confident in our, our depth. Uh, Colin's goal, um, if he, you know, he's a guy, you mentioned he's, he's usually a guy coming off the bench, uh, doesn't always get a ton of minutes, but uh, he, he really stepped up and finished his chance well tonight, I thought. And that was, it's been, a, I mean, you guys have had a little while here that yeah. you didn't get a goal, so. Yeah. Um, can you just, just talk about that play? And um, Well, it starts with uh, Danny, I think, really mm -hmm. selling out and uh, their energy. I thought Danny and, and that whole line of midfielders, attacking midfielders, had a lot of energy tonight. And um, he showed it in that moment, picked up a loose ball, um, f found Colin, and Colin was uh, very determined as well and did what he needed to do. And then, I don't know, maybe you can tell me if it's a glass half empty, glass half full kind of thing. Um, you had a lot of other really solid chances. You only came up with the one goal, but two uh, shots off the crossbar, a couple other near misses. I mean, you, I don't, you, I'm sure it's frustrating because you want more than the one goal, but I mean, is that kind of a positive sign? You were generating a lot of chances? Yeah. Um, yeah. We'd like to see those go in for sure, but, um, you know, scoring goals is, is a funny thing. Sometimes it, it happens when you don't deserve it sometimes it doesn't happen when you do deserve it what we can control more is uh creating those opportunities and, and our movements and, and our patterns in the final third and, and so on and so forth so um they, we saw some really good things there um balls are just on the wrong side of the pipes and then uh last thing i wanted to ask you um first game under the lights you had a lot of alums back uh it's a culmination of a lot of hard work from a lot of people including you uh just how gratifying was it how nice was it to just have a game under the lights with all those people back. Yeah, well, it was great. I, I mean, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Tense game, um, but ha had a blast. And it was it's really neat to see those alum who gave so much for this program um, when they were here and then even since, and, and really the ones that made the lights possible. So it was good to see, um, good to see them here having a good time. All right, Coach. Thanks a lot.